Hello, I'm Andy Newman, Fixture Tooling Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. Today we'll be going over the basic hardware that the PF6 Flex is comprised of. The PF6 Flex is an engineered product. It's made up of several standard components. The configuration of these components is very flexible. The selection of cables is dependent on the system layout. It is strongly recommended that all PF6 Flex systems go through the application center. The first component is going to be the Flex MSB, the main switch box. The main switch box comes in two sizes, a 30 amp and a 60 amp. What will drive which one of these you choose is how many spindles and what size spindles you'll be running. The next component is the power cable. Again, because of the flexibility of the PF6 Flex system, there are many different options for power cables. We have straight entry, right entry, left entry, open end, straight to right, and right entry to straight. Here we can see all the part numbers, and again, the selection depends on the configuration of the flex system. The main component of the PF6 flex system is the flex carrier. The flex carrier is available in two types. We have the three slot carrier, and we have the six slot carrier. We then have the flex control cable. This cable is used to connect from carrier to carrier. The maximum length of this cable is 60 meters. Here we can see that we have a three slot control cable for horizontal installations, a six slot control cable for horizontal installations, and also a vertical cable for systems where the carriers are mounted above each other. The first component in the rack is typically going to be the flex controller. There are two flex controllers. There's a flex controller Profinet, which supports ProfiSafe e-stops, and then there's a flex controller AnyBus, which can be used for all the different field bus types. We also have the IAM. The IAM, Intelligent Application Module, is inserted into the flex controller. We have four types of IAMs, and more will be added as we support additional customers. The field bus module is another card that plugs into the flex controller. And again, depending on what type of field bus your customer is using, you will choose the correct field bus module. The flex drive. The flex drive is actually what drives the QST tools, and one flex drive will control any size tool that we wish to connect. There will be one flex drive for each spindle. The flex blank. The flex blank is used to fill empty slots. We do not want empty slots in our carrier. So if there's any slots that are not being used by a flex controller or a flex drive, that slot should be filled with a flex blank. The fan. The fan is an optional unit which can be installed on the top of the flex drive and aids in the heat distribution of the flex drives. The tool cable. Again, it's one cable for each tool, and these are available in many different lengths from 1 meter to 15 meters. The max cable length is 40 meters, and the max number of connections is 3. And then we have the flex converter. This allows us to connect standard Atlas Copco accessories to our flex system, such as stack lights, indicator boxes, operator panels, start handles, and expanders. For more information, you can look at this Flex System System Overview Manual, and this will give you more detailed information on how these components are laid out and how they are connected together. I hope this video was helpful. Any further questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks.